Ever wondered what it's like in the magical world of Antarctica, the southernmost continent on our planet? Picture a place so white and bright, it sparkles like a sea of diamonds under the sun. This is Antarctica, a land so far south that it literally ends where the world ends. Located at the bottom of the earth, it's the coldest, windiest, and driest place you could ever imagine. Yes, even drier than the Sahara Desert. It might sound hard to believe, but it's true. Antarctica is a desert, a frozen desert, where temperatures can drop to below negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold! But don't let that chill you to the bone just yet. This icy expanse isn't just about extreme weather and endless ice. It's a unique and captivating world all its own, teeming with life and brimming with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Yes, it's a land of ice, but there's so much more to discover about Antarctica. Imagine a place where it's so cold, the lowest temperature ever recorded was minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome, my friends, to the land of ice, Antarctica. This vast, ice-covered landscape is like no other place on Earth. The ice here isn't just a thin layer. It's miles deep, as if the whole world turned into a gigantic snow globe. The ice in Antarctica is so massive, it holds almost 70% of the world's fresh water. Now that's an ice cube worth talking about. But it's not all solid ice. In some places, the ice flows slowly towards the ocean, creating what we call ice shelves. These ice shelves look like giant white tongues sticking out into the sea. And when pieces break off, we get icebergs. Not the lettuce, of course, but huge chunks of ice floating in the ocean. Oh, and did we mention it's not just the coldest place on Earth, but also the windiest? That's right. Winds in Antarctica can reach speeds up to 200 miles per hour. That's faster than a race car. But hold on to your hats, because Antarctica is also the driest place on Earth. Yes, you heard that right. Despite all the ice, it's technically a desert because it receives very little rain or snow each year. So in a nutshell, Antarctica is a land of extremes. It's extremely cold, extremely windy, and extremely dry. But it's also extremely beautiful, with its endless white landscapes shimmering under the pale sunlight. It's a place that can make you feel insignificant and in awe at the same time. Stay warm, because we're just getting started on our Antarctic adventure. Despite the freezing temperatures, did you know Antarctica is home to some amazing creatures? That's right, this icy wonderland is bustling with life, from the smallest of critters to the largest of mammals. Let's start with the most famous resident, the penguin. There are several species of penguins in Antarctica, each uniquely adapted to thrive in the frigid climate. Emperor penguins, for example, have a layer of fat and dense feathers to keep them warm. Next up, we have the seals. Weddell seals, crab eater seals, and leopard seals are just a few that call this icy paradise home. They have a thick layer of blubber that insulates them from the cold water and ice. And let's not forget the whales. Many species like the blue whale and minka whale journey to the nutrient-rich waters of Antarctica to feed during the summer months. These giants of the ocean have a thick layer of blubber that keeps them warm in the icy waters. These tough creatures sure know how to make a home in the ice. Humans can't live in Antarctica year-round, but that doesn't stop us from exploring. Despite the freezing temperatures and icy conditions, scientists from all around the globe set up research stations to study this icy frontier. These brave explorers live in specially designed buildings to withstand the harsh climate, studying everything from the climate to the wildlife, making fascinating discoveries along the way. In addition to scientists, some courageous adventurers have made historic journeys across this icy continent. They've trekked through blizzards, navigated icy crevasses, and endured the coldest temperatures on Earth, all in the name of exploration and discovery. But you don't have to be a scientist or an explorer to visit Antarctica. Every summer, tourists flock to this frozen wonderland to witness its breathtaking beauty firsthand. They come on ships, taking in the spectacular views of icebergs, glaciers, and an array of unique wildlife. So, who's up for a summer vacation in Antarctica? Antarctica might seem far away, but it's more connected to us than you might think. This frosty wonderland, with its majestic ice shelves and remarkable wildlife, is an integral part of our Earth's ecosystem. But here's the chilling truth. Antarctica is under threat due to global warming. Rising temperatures are causing ice to melt at an alarming rate which can lead to a rise in sea levels worldwide. 
this could be devastating for the diverse wildlife that calls Antarctica home, from the playful penguins to the majestic whales. So, what can we do to protect this icy paradise and its inhabitants? Well, it starts with understanding our impact on the environment and taking steps to reduce it. This could be as simple as recycling more, using less energy, or even learning more about climate change and spreading the word. Remember, every little action counts when it comes to saving our planet and the wonderful world of Antarctica.